today we're going back to the Roman town, hopefully to find some things, and it's daylight, so we should be able to see a bit more. See you in a bit. This is St Edmund's Church. I don't know. Let's have a look. Dug that to put the drain in, and there was a human fly boat in a church. Here's Caster St. Edmund's Church. Very pretty, apart from the piles of bones. <laughs> right, so I just found something, I'm not sure what it is, but it's very interesting. It's definitely iron. Rivets fall like a horseshoe, but then it's thinner here. Goodness knows, we shall have a look at that later when we go. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, ditch it in the pot. Okay, so I've just come across another rim. Okay, so I've just come just here, which is lovely. It's a great way just sitting on the top of a molehill. Love it. Right, here's a piece of greyware, as you can see, greyware. And the next one is a piece of terracotta, both of them probably just tiles, that's definitely a tile. And the greyware, I believe it's a tile as well, it's warm where people have walked on it. It's beautiful. You can see it is just a tile because the reverse of it is not really clean very well or anything. Minutes in that office, mold. Interesting though, very interesting. Put them back because we've got loads of them. Okay, we're back at the car. It is what time? It is, it's it 12 minutes past three. 12 minutes past three. I haven't got a clue what time we started, but we've been ages and found loads of things. These were our finds today from the Roman camp, and we're not sure what they all are, but mostly pots. We've got a nice few bits of rim. Same in white and grey wear, and we think this might be a Celtic sickle, did I say? Yeah. Right. Possibly. See you tomorrow for day five.